How's it going folks? This is Wayne R back with another lesson and an amazing song today from one of my favourite bands, the Foo Fighters and Walk. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this, I've sort of used a, a loop pedal a little bit so I'll show you all the parts that you can add in there and I'll show you obviously you know, the acoustic version that Dave Grohl tends to favour just going around the chords. Uh, but without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and first of all, I'm just going to show you, you know, like the acoustic version that sort of Dave Grohl sort of favours. There's a video of him doing uh, for a radio station on YouTube if you want to check that out, and it, it tends to just go around uh, power chords and then sort of open chords in the chorus. So I'll show you the first chord. So the first thing is like an A power chord. So we're going to want his first finger that's going to be on the seventh fret on the D string. Our third finger is going to go on the ninth fret. That is on the G, and our little pinky is going to go on the 10th fret. That is on the B string, but we're going to hit that open A string as well. So, so you get this lovely sort of fat sounding uh, power chord. So we go. Okay, so the next chord is a power chord. We've got an E. So now my first finger is on the 7th fret. That is on the A string. Third finger, 9th fret on the D. And the little pinky is... 9th fret, that's not going to be on the G's. Okay, we're going to move all that shape up to a B power chord. So I've just moved all my fingers up. So, my, you know, first finger's now on the 7th fret on the low E string. Third finger, 9th on the A. And little pinky, that's 9th on the D string. So, again, those chords. We've got the A1. A million miles away. So we've got the E. Now you've got the B. In the distance. Okay, and the last chord in that sequence is going to be a D minor. Okay, so now I've got my first finger on the fifth fret on the A, third finger, seventh fret on the D, little finger, seventh fret, that's on the G, but we're also going to add the second finger on the sixth fret, that's going to go on the B string to sort of get that minor note in. And that's all the chords that you're going to need for the verse. So we'll just go through them with the words. So we got the a million miles away, the signal in the distance to whom it may concern. I lost my way, I'm getting good. Notice I'm, you know, I'm doing all of this song pretty much all the way through with downstrokes, making it very percussive. Because I know where obviously Dave Grohl, his first instrument is the drums. Everything he writes is very percussive, so a lot of downstrokes sort of involved. Okay, so when we hit the chorus, uh, you know, you could do exactly the same again, but I think it's more effective this time if you hit an open A chord. Learning to walk. Let me go to an E. Let me go for a, uh, a B minor, but we're now, instead of doing it up here, we're doing it on the second fret. So first finger, second fret on the A. My third finger is on the fourth fret on the D. And my little finger is on the fourth fret on the G. And I'm going to, this time, add my second finger on the third fret on the B to get that minor note in, okay? And then we're going to go to a, a D minor chord, this time an open D minor. So... Learning to walk again Can you see I've waited long enough Where do I begin Learning to talk again I believe I've waited long enough Okay, so into the um, second verse we've got this little octave chord run. going to come up every time you know it goes into the chorus so basically what i'm doing there my first finger is on the fifth fret that is it on the a i'm going to miss a string and put my third finger that is going to go on the seventh fret on the g but what we're going to try and do is mute that that d string so when we hit those two notes obviously we've got two d notes ringing out so move that shape up two frets then one fret and then two frets so if we follow the first finger, we're going 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret. Okay, let me... 
Okay, so we go back into the verse. It's nice to go right back into the. Do you remember the days? Just sort of pick the song up a bit, play it a little bit louder, uh, and then going. Learning to walk again. Okay, so that chorus is going to go round again. At the end of the second chorus, there's this little bridge bit that I didn't do sort of in the intro, so I'll just go over with the chords and that, and that's really the only other part that you need. So we've got now an A for the very first time. Don't you pay, we've got an F sharp minor. Set me D into a D minor. So walk Can't you see I've waited long enough? Okay, and then it's just gonna finish on this little octave. I think it does it four times at the end, so So that's all the chords that you need. Okay, so that just leaves us with a little sort of intro, you know, if you want to do the picking part. You don't have to, but if you've got, you're playing it with a friend or you want to do it with a loop pedal, I think this is really effective. So what we want to do, we want to bar the seventh fret, okay? And we're going to put the third finger on the ninth fret on the G and the little finger is going to go on the tenth fret on the B string. And we... So we pick G. B, G, so that's G, B, G, top E string, so G, B, G, top E, B, G, B. Okay, see that? Okay, so we do that once. The next move is just moving the little pingy, pinky. So he's now on the ninth fret, sat under the third finger on the B string. Okay, same sort of picking pattern. Okay, the third move is we're going to take the third finger off and we're going to put the little pinky back on the 10th fret that was on the B string. Okay, and the last move, I find this a bit of a stretch, so what I tend to do now is put my third finger on the 10th fret on the G, little finger 10th fret on the, on the B string, and my first finger on the 7th fret on the top E string. And, and that's the last move, okay? So you put all that together, you got... So if we put all that together, we've got... And there we have it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. Uh, I thought it was high time I put another Foo Fighters one up. I've done a few in the past to learn to fly and I think another one can't remember off the top of my head but I've, I've times like these I think I might have done so if you want to check those out um, please do if you are a Foo Fighters fan but uh, like I say I hope you enjoyed this one I think it's a great one to get down um, great works great acoustic as well and if you're playing with somebody else I think it's a great sort of song to, to jam with so uh, thanks very much for watching if you have got any requests not just for Foo Fighters songs anything 
50s to modern day, uh, you know, within reason, you can leave a comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days on social media, which is Wayne R Guitar. I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. And that way you can send me a personal message. And I do always reply to messages. Just might take a while to get him around to do the request. You've got to respect to get, you know, hundreds of, of sort of requests and I do sort of head pick them a little bit. But please do keep them coming because that's what keeps this channel going. Uh, thanks everyone who subscribed. If you are new to me, please do subscribe, uh, especially if you're a Foo Fighters fan or, you know, just love playing acoustic guitar. There's a, there's a good sort of mix of songs, some very obscure ones if you want to go and check my back catalogue out. But those who are subscribed, if you want to hit that little notification bell down there, then you're going to get notified every time I post a video up, which is either once or twice a week, and then obviously you can get on top of it as quickly as. So uh, that just leads me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.